I'm just very focused, man. Um, obviously, um, there's no hiding. I've had a rough year, but I've obviously I've overcome all that now, and I'm in a better place um, physically and mentally. And I'm just like I said, I'm focused. I know, um, you know, this is a good fight. I've never fought in Liverpool. I want to give the fans some excitement, and um, obviously to become a two-time British champ, um, you know, it's good for me. So again, we start here again, push on, and if I want to be pushing in the direction I know I'm more than capable of then I've got to handle opponents like that and um, I'm more fit and ready for it. Like I said, I don't shy or hide from anything, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in this sport to see how far I can go um, for me, for my own peace of mind and um, I know I'm more than capable to go far in this sport. Um, I've got all their attributes and their ability um, so it's just me obviously using it and adapting and using it on the nights of, the, of my fights and things and using this platform in the gym to learn and um, you know propel from that but um, I'm happy to be in this kind of fight these kind of fights will make you you know put on your running shoes not that anything does hide from me I, I do that anyway but it makes you just give it that more because you know okay I've got I've got a serious opponent in front of me or whatever so um, Again, man, for me, it's, it's business, me handling business again, pushing on forward. This is the direction I need to do, handle Liverpool, and we push forward towards more titles. Every fight is a potential to add more O's on the check and things like that. Um, so for me, every fight is very detrimental, so I take it very serious. And um, I put my all in, I train hard. And um, like anything, more for my peace of mind, more for me, I put myself first before anything and um, I've got to do these things for me which I've been obviously doing for me and um, it's when I do beat Dan it's going to be good obviously because it's going to put me he's recognised as one of the top heavyweights as well like heavyweight so it's going to put me in good stead in the direction where I need to be that's what I'd say into the right direction where I need to be but again just got to keep going focus on September 3rd that's the main get the win and we'll push on <laughs> Um, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, it's just me, myself and my family anyway and my team. So I don't really worry about the public perspective and what people want to think. You know, we appreciate them. Of course we do. Um, but at the same time, they're, they're, they're there to speculate. They're there to give their opinions. Everyone has an opinion. When their opinion, it's society, you know. And um, if I worry about people's opinions and it would never have got me as far as I am now. Um, so for me, I just knock her down, head down. I'm in a point where I come to the gym, I give it my all. Long so I can look myself in the mirror and say, Shaq, you know what? I know I've gave 110 today, or I know I've developed and picked up a skill on this part um, in my boxing or whatever, whatnot, then I'm happy. Like the biggest killer is lying to yourself and I'm one who's not gonna lie to myself and I'm very harsh on myself. So again, it is all for me. It is all to prove to myself and show my own capabilities and things like that. Don't be wrong, I do want to be in exciting fights where the fans do appreciate. Um, but at the same time, man, I've got, a, it, it is, me getting into boxing was all for me. It wasn't for a bob down the road, Neville or Tom or anything, you know what I mean? I didn't know these people. I got in boxing for myself and my family, so I'll continue to maintain that mindset and carry on pushing on with that. <laughs> Yeah, he's a good fighter, solid fighter, um, you know, loves to come forward as well and he, he'll come for a fight, I know that about him, which is good, I, that just means I ain't got to go looking for him, you know what I mean, I hate looking for opponents, it's just long, so um, yeah, he's a good fighter, he's going to come and like I said, he's a one majority of a lot of the domestic uh, titles, um, similar to myself, coming from a small horse shows. Um, you know, we really have took the stairs to get where we are, you know what I mean? No, we haven't had a stellar amateur uh, pedigree, we, didn't, we weren't given these things, we just 
you know, we won our fights in the small horse shows. So it makes sense, this fight. It's a good fight for the fans. It's a good fight for both of us, see where we are. Um, but as I say, it's a good fight, but I just feel, I believe that I do everything generally better than what he can do. Um, but I'm prepared for anything, as I say, in all my fights, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. The main thing for me is just to get the win, and um, I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to do that. <laughs> You know what I mean? Obviously, there's no secret. I'm the taller ranger guy now. He's obviously going to probably com put comparison from last performances or he's used to being a short guy in the like, heavyweight scene or whatever and he's used to fighting taller fighters, that's fine. But um, for me, I have got the attributes. I have got the strength. I am a big light heavy. I just believe I'm just too big, too strong for him, to be honest. Um, not taking nothing away from him. Good fighter, strong. But I just believe me as a fighter, I'm too big and too strong for him, um, definitely. And I'm, I'm someone where, like I said, on the night or whatever, I can adapt. Um, if it's a scrap, I can scrap. Um, if it's a boxing fight, I'm definitely going to outbox him. Um, so, yeah. Um, as I say, man, I'm, I've covered all angles. I've, I, I'm in training, I'm, I'm in the gym. And I work a lot on things where I know my opponents will try and do or whatever. But he's a good fighter, but again, I'm focused on what I do. And I know I, as long as I execute what I can do and what I know I'm capable of, then I'll get this win. <laughs> It's been a while since I've been the away fighter. <laughs> I think the last time I was away fighter was when I fought deck for the uh, English title, which was probably a year on in my career or whatever. Um, but it don't make a difference to me. I don't really care away or, away or home. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's not like, um, you know, we're fighting in Liverpool. That's neutral ground for both. In fact, it's closer to me, whatever. Um, but it doesn't matter as long as there's a ring and it's, it's not, you know, decent football where a team carries you. It's himself on the other end and it's me on the other end. It doesn't matter. It could be anywhere around the world. As long as there's a ring, that's the point. So um, for me, I, I navigate through all camp the same. Um, I don't pay no mind on that. I'm in the ring with him. I take down, um, you know, the best version of him. And I prepare for the best version of him, like all my opponents. So as I say, there's no stones unturned in my side in my camp and I'm fit, well, ready. Champion from Birmingham, Shakan Putin! I don't know, because to be fair, with that British title, there's a lot of stop and starting because of the COVID situation. And I was preparing for Chad. It was more a lonely journey in the gym because other boxers wasn't fighting. It was just myself that time. so. It was more just me and Paul in the gym. So it's good to have, you know, that buzz around the gym now. You know what I mean? Where all my gym mates are here. And obviously like today, you know, you've got Pete, you've got Savannah and the team down here. So it's good to have that buzz and that vibe around the gym. Um, but as I say, for me, um, all that is put to the back of my head, man. For me, I just focus on the main goal. Become two-time, get the win. And, um, you know, leave, leave out the ring fit and healthy as I do. And, you know, I pray myself and he does, but yeah, it's the same kind of approach for me. I've trained hard and I'm fit and I'm well and I'm ready. Two time, man, that's what you can expect. Definitely two time explosive performance. Um, you know, the best version of me. Um, obviously, Liverpool is a great boxing city, um, so I'm excited to be there, fight there for the first time. I've never fought there in amateur or anything, I've never fought in Liverpool, but I've been there to watch shows myself and I see that the crowd, they really get behind. Um, the boxes, which is good. So I thrive on that. I love that kind of atmosphere. Um, but yeah, expect me to be two time and I'll be lifting that British title up, man.